Hey, I'm Josh Reimer, and Selena Gomez has a new music video with a lesbian fantasy in it. This former Disney Channel star has come a long way from the stuff that she did there, or being on Barney and Friends even before that. She is now a famous pop singer and a strong ally to the LGBT community. She performed at a concert in North Carolina last year to help raise funds for groups who were fighting against the state's anti-LGBT laws. And she says that she loved Madonna's Truth or Dare documentary for how groundbreaking it was for the gay rights movement. But now she's taken it to a whole other level, playing a character with a lesbian crush in her own music video. I already thought she was adorable. Now I even have a lesbian crush on her. I don't think it works that way, does it? Her song is called Bad Liar, and the music video for it has received almost 40 million views on YouTube in the first week. It's set in the 70s, and Selena actually plays four different characters in it. A teenage girl, her father, who's also the school principal, her mother, and her female gym teacher, who the teenage girl has a thing for. She does a great job with each character, although looks a little adorably ridiculous as a full-grown man. Regardless, she has some awesome looking Farrah Fawcett hair as the gym teacher, and it's understandable why her teenage character would have a crush on that coach, cause who didn't have a crush on Farrah Fawcett back in the day, really? It was a bit before my time, but even I think I could have gone lesbian for her. I know that's not how that works, but just go with it. The video has well over a million thumbs up, and most of the comments don't actually even touch on the girl wanting girl aspect, which is awesome. When people can just accept same-sex attraction as much as opposite, and actually focused on the story, like, that part doesn't matter, that's when we really know progress has been made. They're talking about the song, they're talking about her singing, they're talking about her acting, the storyline in general. It's awesome to see, and hopefully encourages more big stars to feel like it's totally okay to embrace characters of different sexual orientations. See, 2017 isn't all bad. Trump might not want to recognize Pride Month, but clearly Selena does. And she has a lot more fans than he does, so it's all good. Thank you for watching the Sassy Scoop. I recently did an interview with an LGBT refugee, and we walked a mile in high heels. So if you want to check that out, go to sassysunday.com. And otherwise, I'll be back soon with another Sassy Scoop. Bye!